frame's all painted, ready to put the rear suspension back together. I sold the old small block Chevy, and as any good gearhead would do, I promptly put the money right back into my car. I bought a full Global West rear suspension setup. Coil springs, lower control arms, adjustable uppers, frame braces, and Viking shocks, and all the hardware to go with it. First thing I need to do is get the upper control arms to the right length. I'm going to start them off at the stock length of the um, original control arm. Again, my suspension geometry was really good and I want to start there. So you adjust these by basically turning this jam nut until you get the right length. Alright, I've adjusted the jam nut out, basically. go. So I'll adjust both of these and get the uh, jam nut locked down. So time to put the upper control arm on. So that'll go back here. Get that in place. Just sort of setting there. And then these are the braces that'll go from lower to upper control arm mounting area. Uh, what these do is basically strengthen up the cross member where uh, the upper control arms are on. Otherwise, uh, you will break things for sure. So, long bolt, um, spacer, essentially through the upper, and then into the control arm. Same thing on the lower. for the bottom, but don't really need it. Alright, there we go. Hey, one thing that I'm doing too is the kit comes with jam nuts. Um, and, uh, or like lock, lock, lock nuts. Um, I'm putting on just regular nuts right now. Regular nuts. I just want to get, and, and they're not, I'm not making them real tight. I want to get everything in place, and then I will replace with the uh, with with the lock nuts. Um, one thing to also mention here is on the um, with those braces. You can see that they're adjustable here. So lock nuts was loose. I got everything turned right. And then again, I will jam this down and lock this off once everything's in place. I know everything works. Let me show you a little closer up here what's going on. So here's the lower control arm right there. Upper control arm's in. And then this is that brace that goes from the cross member down to the lower control arm. Uh, again, these jam nuts are loose. Um, once everything's in place, I will tighten those up. So again, what I've done is I've used these non-lock nuts, non-crimp nuts. Um, I've tightened stuff down, but not all the way tight. Uh, really should have a tighten up the suspension when you're at ride height, which I can't do that till I get all the weight on it. So um, I'm going to leave everything just snug and then tighten it up after the car is all back together. These control arms do have spherical, um, spherical uh, uh, joints on this end and on this end here versus just the rubber. They say that you can tighten those up and I, I don't see any reason why not, but I'm just going to leave everything loose and I'll tighten it up when um, when we get the weight on the car. So now uh, it's ready to basically get the rear end in place. So ready to jack the rear end up into place. I've got the help of Marcus again. Um, here on coil springs, these are polyurethane insulators that go up on the top. So we'll set these up on the Rear axle, and Marcus looks like we need to go a little bit farther forward with the jacks. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's see. Farther forward still. Yeah, farther forward still. Hold on, we got it. 
take your lower control arm and put it up on, on top of the jack. Okay, you ready? Go, stop, stop, stop. Close. Okay. You good? Okay, let's start jacking it up. First, we'll get the upper control arms in place. See if you can bend that down, Marcus. Get it in place. Okay. Okay, we're close. Going to adjust a little bit for the pins. But, uh, Marcus, pull your jack forward. Just your jack forward just a little bit. Okay, stop right there. Perfect. All right, we'll get the pins and put them in. And then we'll uh, do the other side. So the top control arms are in. So we are now putting the lower control arm in. Marcus, want to pick that up there and get it lined up. Okay, a little more up. There you go. Down a little bit. There we go. All right, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. We have the lower control arms attached, springs are in place. The last thing to do is put the shocks on. First step is to put the lower shock hardware in place. Got it there, Marcus? The lower shock is mounted on, and again, just leaving those a little bit snug, like the rest of the pivot points, and we'll tighten those all down when we have the car at ride height all the weight on it. Uh, it was a little bit difficult getting the bottom of the shock on, because there's no weight uh, to kind of compress everything. So I had a couple of people actually sit on the back of the frame here, and then we were able to do that. So the next step is um, going to put the differential cover on and brake lines, and that should finish it up. There is what an Eden Posi unit with strange gears looks like. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, again, put the rear end together, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. Uh, took the cover off, I'm gonna put that Moser cover on. Show you a little bit about the Moser cover. That's it there. Um, these two screws here, they actually, you wind those in and these two points go against the the bearing caps here to give it more support. Do I really need it? Don't know. But it looks kind of cool. Got the hard lines basically on loose. Um, this is a new brake hose. I, I bought that. That goes on this bracket here like this and then this bracket bolts to the cover, which is what I got to kind of figure out because the cover's a lot there. So I'm going to get all this kind of mocked up and then we'll put the cover up here and see how everything's going to fit. So that's the Moser cover and the brake line's all in place. Worked out pretty good. Worked out good. Uh, sway bar and airbags and then it is done. The rear end is all in. Uh, I have to be honest with you guys. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning on a Friday. The reason I'm uh, trying to get this all done is because tomorrow, hopefully, on Saturday, we'll be putting the frame back under the car. We'll see. But anyhow, it came out pretty nice. Everything's in, including the airbags, brake lines. I'm uh, pretty happy with how it came out. So.